All right, so today is all about going vegan and whether or not you should do it, whether we should do it, whether everyone should do it. Uh, We have some personal stories because we did at one point try to go vegan. And Greg, do you want to tell your story first? Sure. So when did we go vegan? Two years ago? Literally two years ago in the winter. Yeah, right. It was was like this time two years ago. Mm -hmm. We decided to do it for something on ASAP Science, and we had just gotten home from a trip to Costa Rica. Mm-hmm. Beautiful trip, beautiful trip. Yeah, it was really nice. Really, um, just a biodiverse country in many ways. <laughs> just absolutely <laughs> stunning. Uh, lots of people go there for good reason. Very safe. Yeah, we hiked. We got a bunch of ticks, which had never happened, but they promised us that they did not carry Lyme disease they there. Don't, there's apparently not. Thank goodness. We were picking ticks like off each other ticks on my and body. eating them like, like no, true chimpanzees. We did Oh, yeah. Protein. <laughs> Protein. Okay, we're talking about going vegan. Okay. We should be eating insects. Okay, so, yeah, I start going vegan, and I'm like, wow, okay, this is really hard. I'm extremely <laughs> nauseous. I am so hungry I all the time. I remember we both kind of felt fatigued at first, right? For about two days, you're high, kind of the way you felt earlier. Like, right. This, like, new, it's like you have, like, this new life epiphany. You're like, I'm vegan now. Yeah. You have tons of energy. You're like... Ugh. Actually, I'm. Ve- you're telling all your friends. Mm-hmm. You're, you know, every topic of conversation is going out the fact that you're in fact <laughs> vegan, and yeah, definitely that wears off quite quick. I remember feeling so fatigued, so sick, not coming into work. I'm not going to get into the messy details, <laughs> but the toilet needed to be cleaned quite a bit more often, oh which was God. a weird situation. Which probably I was doing. What? <laughs> Cleaning it. Oh my god, I thought you were had, having diarrhea. I was like, okay, interesting. I no. didn't know that you were. Yeah, there was a point where I was like, wow, this vegan diet is really not agreeing with you. Like, yeah. I was not feeling great, but I was not like, yeah, so dying. I was like, I would go from starving to then like nauseous. I remember my parents making me this like delicious vegan meal because we were like going to their place for dinner and I was like putting it in my mouth, kind of like bridesmaids with like the nut, like sweating, <laughs> like, I'm going to throw up. Like, why? Like, I swear it's good. Am I so, like, and, I'm, and people are trying to be like, how's it going vegan? I'm like, it's actually like killing me. Like, it's just so weird. I did not expect it. I'm so embarrassed then I start to sort of walk into rooms and people are like Greg are you okay you literally look so thin Mm -hmm. you look so sick you look honestly like you need to stop being (laughs) vegan for your own health I'm like I feel so awful like the vlogs because we were filming it about going vegan are just me being like I like I could never do this like I'm 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 dying (laughs) I go to the doctor I I'm actually really mad that ha- I'm happy that I was proactive about this doctor's appointment because it wasn't my real doctor. It was like someone else. And there was a graph. Like I'd gone a couple of times. I felt so sick of me being weighed. And then she kind of pulled up the graph on the computer and it was like a stark in- like decline of my mm-hmm. weight. Like I had lost about 15 pounds in two weeks. And That's just looking at the insane. graph, I was like, oh my like God, something's wrong. something's wrong. And she was kind of like, well, you know, we could wait another two weeks. I was like, I don't know. Like that graph <laughs> looks like 30 pounds. Yeah. Like, and I think she was like a uh, temp doc. I don't know. It was just like funny that I was like, can I like, just like test this right. more? <laughs> so she was like, yeah, okay, here. So Cause what, at this point you're like, what if this has nothing to do with being vegan? Or I don't know. I was Test, like, you're just like, we need to figure out if something's wrong. Yeah, I kind of was like, okay, this is when it started to click for me. I was just in Costa Rica. What's going on? Do a fecal sample. Turns out I have Giardia lambia, a parasite <laughs> from when we were in Costa Rica. Being vegan is not the reason for any of these symptoms. No, but I. If you have these symptoms after you go vegan, yeah, like go para- to a doctor. Yeah, the parasite was essentially just eating vegan food mm-hmm. out of me. Mm-hmm. I lost so much weight. So I then got an antibiotic for my gut, killed off this like little Giardia lambia parasite, a very popular one. It was, you know, yeah, it's yeah, the a go-to lot. Parasite. Yeah, it is. It's like classic, classic. Everybody knows her. Everybody loves her. <laughs> yeah, no, and we moved on. And it's actually, but so gross. It's from consuming feces. It's literally oh, from. Oh, but that's so weird because we th- what we think it is from is that when we were in Costa Rica, we went on like a three-day trek. Like it was a really long hike. Eight yeah, some would say hike, but I'd say it was a trek. It was a trek. More of a trek sure. than a hike. Eight hours a day is a trek. So at one point there was a little waterfall and our guide was like very rustic. Very much like, oh yeah, just put, the water's safe. Just like put we your were... water bottle in the water and uh, you'll drink that. But it was like so frustrating because the whole time I was being so careful. But at this point, it was like the end of the trek. And it was just like, the, it was just this perfect Thirsty. little thing. And he was very <laughs> confident. Uh, confident. Likewise with the ticks. And now I'm like, do I trust that those ticks haven't given me a lifelong debilitating problem? Oh my God, Lyme disease. Call Avril Lavigne. We might have, we, we would know by now. I'm pretty, actually, no, it can lay dormant. Anyways, yeah. but 
I don't know. He was so convincing. And it was the only time I drank from a stream in a rainforest. But I did, too. We shared the same water yeah. bottles. That's why. I... No, we didn't share the same water bottles, but we shared the same stream. So I think I just uh... got a bit of poo in my stream. But why... Or it could have been anything else. But that's right. just what I clock it up, too. Because I just remember that moment of the dipping my water moment. bottle into this stream and being like, well, this is the one thing they tell you not to do. And chugging it back on the last, like, 100 meters of my trek. I could have just waited to get back. I'm so <laughs> mad if that is the reason. I also, okay, I don't want to get too gross. Some people might get grossed out by this, but I'm no. also, like, laughing so hard at, like, how you captured a fecal sample. What do you mean? Like, how do you do that? Well, it would be runoff <laughs> from the feces of, like, the beautiful diverse biodiversity Sorry. we were looking at. No, 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 no. At. I mean, when you had to submit a fecal sample of your oh. own. I remember you being like, didn't you have to, like, store poo in our fridge? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> So, I mean, people have done that before. I know that that's quite normal. But I know, but I mean, especially when it's diarrhea, I imagine it's harder. Well, okay. Okay, we are not, okay, you're literally bringing up the one thing I was like, let's not bring okay, up. Okay, okay, it's But I gross. got, you, you know what you use, and they suggest, and they, they give you this little contraption. <laughs> I'm sorry. But they don't use it, but they suggest a paper plate. So, I'll put oh, them in wow. a 